Hey everyone, my name's Karin. I'm a two-time Olympic gold medalist and I want to share with you some of my rowing workouts here on the Concept2 rowing machine. So I'm going to show you today just 20 minutes quick uh, and relatively easy workout. So this workout is a good one when you're running short on time and maybe also on motivation too. I'm having a little trouble motivating today. It's a dark and dreary afternoon and I figured, you know what, just get on, do 20 minutes, and that'll be good. Maybe I can go do something else. But for this workout, we're just gonna do uh, some steady state and drills within each 10 minutes. I'm gonna be doing four minutes of drills and then six minutes of varying rates of steady state. So hop on and join me. So as always, I'm going to start with setting the drag factor. If you don't know how to set the drag factor, uh, check out the video on my channel that will show you how to do that. I recommend a drag factor between 115 and 120 for most people. Alright, that's good. Now, I'm going to start feet out. I do a lot of rowing feet out. I find it's good for technique. Good to make sure that you're supporting yourself with your core. Um, I welcome you to try it with me. If it doesn't go so well, feel free to put your feet in. I'm not even going to set my monitor. I'm just going to say, just row. So we're going to start out with a pick drill here. So arms only, ready, row. And now I'm working on keeping strong core, keeping my back supported and pulling into just above my belly button. Arms body in two. One, two. Yeah, I'm focusing on keeping my shoulders down reaching from my left. Quarter sliding two, that's one, two. Now I'm focusing on initiating with my legs, moving the seat, and then following through with the body and arms. sure that I keep most of my weight on the seat. I don't want to let it get too far forward over my feet like this because that means I'm collapsing. Starting my heart rate monitor here. I forgot to start it. There we go. Here, I want to make sure that your seat and your hands are 
in, if they're strapped in, I want you to take one of them out and put it on the floor next to you. We're only going to use the foot that's on the footboard. So this is one leg rowing. Ready. Row. Focus here. It's using your glute to push away. Load is going to be heavier on that one leg since we only got one. And that makes it easier to feel that load. You've also got to make sure that you're supporting for your core through your midsection because with one leg, otherwise your body will twist. You want to stay square, hips and shoulders square to the work. how low you can get that split you want it to be. Almost the same as you were growing your two legs at the 18th. Take two more with this leg. One, two, pause, finish. We're going to 
do the next seven minutes. Growing steady. This one's going to be two beats higher than the last. So we'll start with three minutes and 20 into one.
20 minutes. Just paddle it out here. Let your hurry come down. I like to paddle one arm. While I'm doing that, I'm thinking about reaching from my lats, which are down here, making sure that my shoulder stays low. Like this. What I don't want you to do. Hike your shoulder up like that. Nice and low. Make long. Just a real light paddle. Stretch it out. Breathe. Just a few more like this. thing about that is if you can just motivate to get on for 20 minutes it just feels so much better and a lot of the time you decide it's not so bad and maybe you can stay on for another 20 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and do another 20 minutes I'm gonna leave you here feel free to do another 20 minutes on your own that's awesome uh, but if not if you got to get going great job you did the 20 minutes you're motivated. I'm proud of you. All right. I'll see you next time. Good luck.